who is this man? I think that's uh, Sam Crow. So take some kicking. Two Blues fans on our way to the footy. Rog, how are you feeling, mate? Oh, feeling a little bit sore after playing today, but emotionally for this game, I couldn't be any more ready. Definitely need to clear the path for the boss who will come through. Um, but similarly to the way she's riding that bike, I'm riding the Blues home too today. <laughs> I back us every time. How are you feeling versing the power? They've just beaten the, the grand final winning Tigers. I would have been pessimistic if we didn't make the changes we did. We hate to whip the whipping boys even further, but Setterfield and Dow drop. My boy, my boy Matt Kennedy, I couldn't stand by him anymore, he's in. And so is Zach Williams. So we couldn't have a better sliding given our injuries. I think we get the W. Mate, I'm backing his home. You should have beaten Port last year if it should've wasn't for Robbie Roberto Gray. Gray. But you we were. got we got the footy gods back with Jack Newmes later that season at least. You did, you did. Have a look at that. Get a, get a <laughs> shot of just what we're witnessing here. Like, how blessed are we to be living in the best city in the world with the best stadium in the world? Mate, this is as good as it gets. Yeah. And after today, we're coming back for the D's and the Hawks. We just love our footy, <laughs> we love our D's, we love our blue baggers. Fever pitch here in the J, Rocky. You just feel like something special is brewing. You said it earlier, this feels like finals weather. Like it just... It is. It's like dry and warm. It's fantastic. We both pack the two jackets. I don't think we need them. I don't think I need one. But I'm feeling fantastic. Nice for McGovern to come in to help Mackay. I reckon I just feel like we win this, McDonald. Come on, surely. Not the barriers. I'm, not, I'm not confident with the power away from Adelaide Oval. We play well against Port Adelaide as well. One of my great memories watching Matthew Cruiser kick the winner against oh, yeah. Port Adelaide. Sticking both fists up. One of my all time favourite memories. Can we get a tip? I'm going, I'm going to back the boys in. I'm going to go the boys by 11. I'm going the blues by full time. Bloody hell. Come on. Game's about to kick off. Let's go. First goal. Hogarty. Like it. I'll go Eddie. Ah, oh, lovely. Here we go. Fever pitch at the G. Blues taking on the power. Go, baby! Go! Charlie Dixon for the first goal of the match. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful kick. Fogarty lining up. Did he kick the first for the blue? First for the blue bag is great effort. He's the best out of the lot, let me tell you. Zach Williams said, Fogarty. That's crazy. He's turned into quite a player. He has. John gave him us the donut. Cripper's missed directly in front to give him the lead. And then Robbie Gray from the boundary, if you don't mind. Quarter time, Roger. The blues, they're doing all right. I feel like Port have had more of the play and deserve to be maybe a goal or two more in front. So, it's to be a goal down. Uh, I like it. And my boy, Matt Kennedy. How good was that effort? Robbie Gray was home and home. Certain goal. Should have been playing all last season, all this season. So, let's see that Tiki finally listening to me. Listening to me Facebook comments. Second quarter about to start. Calm the baggers. We've started the second and uh, it's all the power at the moment. Yeah, I've got, I haven't got really one more to add to that. We've been very, very disappointing early. Not just playing a very average brand of football. I feel like your midfield's doing all right. And that's at a stoppage, but around the ground, especially their forward line, Georgie Artis is on fire, Charlie Dixon's on this. Getting stretched a little bit thin. Ground ball gets a bit shocking. They, every time it gets to the ground, they seem to want to move. Looking for Casbolt! Good time to keep on Casbolt. To stem the flow. And I just don't think he does. Oh, Casbolt! He stopped it! And Casbolt says, now yeah. he's got three seconds. Never in doubt, leave eye on. I definitely haven't been calling him to be top the last three weeks, and I definitely didn't say he was, yeah, <laughs> definitely didn't say he was going to miss that one either. Scotty Lysette lining up. Kick from 45 directly in front. Looks all right. Half time, Rogers, the Blues, tied by 23 points. Big third term. I get the feeling this is going to be a, a, a Blues comeback type term, which they've known for doing. We are known for doing it. Um, Bit of momentum. I feel like the effort has sort of been there. It has been amazing, but it's been there. Yep. It's just the disposal. Inside 50, turnovers for war. If we can get the link up better, we might be off for some joy and the comeback might be there. But I'm, I, at the moment, I'm struggling this season. 23 right. points down, the Blues have to get a wriggle on this team. Big turn from the Blue Baggers here. 
get himself in the game. Couple of goals and it'll be on for young and old. Oh, I believe in him. Mackay's kicked one to start the third. Marshall to answer back. Toddy, Toddy, Toddy. Oh, that's a great strike. Everyone needs a Carl Amon, I tell ya. You describe Carl Amon as sort of this sort of shitty player that everyone needs that does yep. all the right things, if that makes sense. But that wasn't that description. That goal there was class. So Carl Amon initially was that light frame bloke you don't expect to be in the 22. But he's in there every week and he's contributing. And I think every team needs... Does um, Melbourne have one of those? I'd say Alex Newball. Okay. Um, I think Richmond had about 10 of them yeah, they did, in, a, they did, in a couple of players. Yeah, uh, but he's starting to gather possessions and move into just a good player. Yep, like it. But he slot one from the boundary right in front of us and the power. He gets almost a five goal lead. Yeah. And he kicks it. Never in down the gun and great set shot. Georgie Artis has been really impressive. Lining up to extend the lead. He's nailed it. Who is this man? Who is this man? I think that's uh, Sam Crow. <laughs> so take some kicking. Oh! If you don't mind. Woodcock. Boyd Woodcock. I thought so. I didn't. <laughs> Apologies to. Uh, Never heard of him in your life. Apologies to Woodcock. I was unaware of his name, but a good finish. Lovely from Woodcock. Three quarter time here at the G. They trail by 43. A pretty annoying third term where the house sort of did almost what you'd expect or what you hope they would Yeah, and uh, it's one where uh, I don't, it could go either way. We kick the next three or four goals and go, oh, respect, honourable loss. Or, uh, and I hate honourable loss. Yeah. They weren't bad when we were playing 18 year olds, but now they're they're almost uh, masculine now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or more just kick away, kick another four, and we, we lose by 10 plus goals. So I, I reckon this is one of those ones where you win the last quarter yeah. and you get down to 30 points. Yeah. Oh, well, either way, disappointing night at the footy. Last turn. Let's see what the Blues can do. A bit of a dead rubber last quarter. Yeah, I, I, don't, poxy. I don't see myself lasting to the end of the game, to be honest with Donald. I reckon I might be off short. Jeez, I've got a bit of a packed uh, car park I've got to wrestle with, so if you go, I go. Uh -huh. Well then, I reckon we're in it together, and we're in it just about now. Yeah, it's a tough one. I think I, I think Port Adelaide are almost the yardstick, so it's a tough pill to swallow. It's a tough pill to swallow because I, don't, I feel like the effort was there, and we're just nowhere near good enough. Yeah. And it's frustrating because you sort of think, you know, and you don't want to get ahead of yourself, you're not thinking premiership, but you think, gee, if we can sneak into the A, win a couple finals, who knows? Like, you're thinking doggies, you know, anything that Yeah, 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 for sure. But this is just a reminder that we're still a long way off it, and it's a bit of pill to swallow. That's all right, Roger. You'll bounce back next week, no doubt. I guess Bruce, you might. I've got a little doubt, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> Thanks for having me today. My pleasure. Thanks for coming down, mate. Long way to come down from Geelong to watch uh, that rabble. No, uh, I love it, and I'm back tomorrow for the Hawks and the Ds. I'll be here as well. I appreciate everyone watching, and we'll see you all very soon for another video. Cheers. Much love.